Hey guys and dolls, hope everyone's doing well. It's been a while since I posted a video. I have a few, but I thought I would start with this one and also say hello September. And um, I'm so ready for fall. Summer was not that bad this year, but I was a little sick. We have a new baby, a lot of stuff going on. Um, just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's kept sending me messages, kept emailing me, telling me to keep up, to come back. I so appreciate it. I am coming back. The book is done. Trying to figure out to do it an ebook or a regular book. And um, today I'm going to bring you a simple recipe. It's menesta, which we call beans. In Ecuador, we just call it menesta. We mash it up a little bit. And sometimes we use lentils. We can use red beans, pink beans, white beans. Today I am making them out of light red kidney beans. And I'm using canned today. Also, the recipe that I'm going to make today is probably for like one to two people only and if you have leftovers this is perfect for like a burrito or tacos because if you mash it up a little more it becomes like a refried bean and it's so simple it's so delicious people love my menesta i'm gonna actually make this one with some white rice and some fried chicken tonight and i just wanted to show you so i have another thing to show you um sometimes i use achote oil so what i wanted to show you is this is the other stuff I use. So it's called Behold. It's a food coloring. You can find this in most supermarkets. So when I don't use my achote oil, I will use this for food coloring. Now, I don't use a lot because if you use too much of this, just like achote oil, it can make your food a little bitter. So just be careful with it. Just use, I use it like depending how orange I want stuff. But for this, I just use a little bit. Oh, dropping that. And I'm gonna use some sea salt Himalayan. That's my new thing love it it's good for you himalayan sea salt and i'm using some garlic powder i have one can of red beans of light red beans um i'm just using supermarket brand and for this recipe i am using the juice i don't always use the water i mean inside but i'm going to use it for this recipe and i don't have a whole tomato so i'm going to use a few little tomatoes but if you have a whole small tomato use a whole small tomato I usually use a green pepper for this, but I don't have, so I'm gonna use some yellow pepper and some onion. Now from these, I'm only gonna use about a quarter of the pepper, about a quarter of the onion, and like five to six little tomatoes because I'm gonna cut them up. And all this, I'm gonna chop it up really small. Now after I chop it up, I'm gonna fry it up with some olive oil. When it's getting a little translucent is when I add a little garlic powder, some salt, and my behold and I like saute that around for like two minutes you know it's like what you're doing with this is kind of like Ecuadorian style sofrito that's what we call our sofrito in Ecuador we make it with onions peppers tomatoes sometimes we add cilantro depending on the dish we're doing but when I make my beans Ecuadorian style I don't add cilantro so after I chop that up and stir fry it and add all the condiments I leave it another minute and that's when I add my bean. So since I'm using one can of beans, I'll probably put one can of water. And then I mix it up really well so I could get all those yummy pieces from the bottom of the pan. I let that simmer for like 20, 30 minutes and it starts to thicken. And then I get a potato masher and I mash it up just halfway. Now some Ecuadorians, they like to feel some of the beans so they don't mash it as much. Other Ecuadorians, they love a super mash, which is like kind of like a refried bean style. Me, I like it halfway, so it's fine. And then since it's just for me and the little one, I'm only making one can today. And if you're gonna have, you know, for more people, then you add more. So once again, if you have a green pepper, go for green pepper and go for a whole small tomato. But since I don't have that today, I'm using some of this. So we're gonna start cooking and um, thank you for staying tuned. Here we go, guys, I wanted to show you. So I chopped everything up really small. And it's just a little bit. I have a small um, pot. I'm going to add some olive oil. And I'm going to add my yummy stuff. Actually, I'm going to add the onion and peppers first. The minute the onion hits the pan, start smelling delicious. We're going to turn on our fan. So here we are. So this is going to saute for about five minutes all together. Right now I'm about to add the tomato. I just like to add the onion and the pepper first. Oh, it already smells delicious. You know that my thing I always say 
the one thing I need when I'm cooking is onion and garlic. I, it just makes everything better. So I'm adding the tomatoes. So another thing, if you see it get a little bit dry, just add a little bit more olive oil. Now for these beans, you don't need the Puerto Rican sofrito that I make, all right? This is basically what you're making at the Ecuadorian sofrito. And I actually have a video up for the Ecuadorian sofrito. So we're gonna let that cook down for like four minutes more, and then we're gonna add our condiments. Make sure not to burn it. So it's been about four minutes. I'm gonna add um, the rest of my stuff. Gonna add some garlic powder. That's probably about two teaspoons or so. I already grinded the salt, so here goes some salt. And my food coloring. See how it goes on like that. See that? And then I just mix that in really nice. This is what flavors the beans so delicious. So you see that little, those little brown spots? It's okay because it's not burned. Once you're, um, you put your beans, you go like that really well to get all that flavor. So this is gonna cook down for another minute. And then I add my can of beans. Great, so I just wanted to show you the sofrito is ready. See, it becomes a little like a paste. See that? I go like that just to mash it up a little more. Because it basically is going to melt in the bean, you know? So now I add my can of bean. I get some water. How easy is it? So now also another thing is you don't have to add the whole can of water. You can go little by little because you don't want to have a watery bean. So this is good So because this is going to thicken. So now what I do is I put it up, see, that's a little too high. I'm gonna put it like medium. And uh, I'm gonna mix that really well because I wanna scrap, um, I wanna get all those little particles in the bottom because that's giving us a flavor. See that? Great. Now we're gonna let that simmer for a good 20 minutes. Sometimes even 15 because there's only one can. And then I start tasting it, see if it needs a little bit of salt. And then when it's ready, I will start mashing a little bit. Now, if you don't have a potato masher, I use a fork sometimes. Also, um, I wanted to show you, sometimes people use a little sazon in their, um, in their bean. I actually put a dab, but that's it, just a dab. I got this one from Puerto Rico. It's funny, but I was bringing all these seasonings and my mom is like, but they saw that all here. And I was like, yeah, but it's from Puerto Rico. It makes me feel like it's authentic. <laughs> Anyway, um, see, so it's starting to get hotter, and it's going to boil soon. And soon it will be delicious beans for your rice and your chicken or anything else. It started to boiling. I mean, it just started boiling. So now at this time, I just lower it a little bit to like a, a low. And then I continue cooking for 15 minutes. So here's your bean. As you can see, it's rendered down. Now just be careful, you don't want your bean to totally dry out. Now another thing that we do with our menestas in Ecuador is we add a pat of butter. And we add some white cheese, but I'm actually not going to add cheese. And I don't always add cheese, but I do like it. And the cheese, I mean like um, some mozzarella or some... Uh, um, there's this other cheese that's like mozzarella. We say like Spanish cheese, um, but it's like... Um, it's called El Viajero or Cacique. Sometimes you can find it. It's kind of like a frying cheese, stuff like that. It's really yummy. And it tastes like um, Hispanic style mozzarella, you could say. So anyway, so I added my butter. That's going to thicken it a little more. I'm going to let it cook for another five minutes. And then I'm going to mash it. And that's it. The beans are done. So that's it, guys and dolls. My beans are done. So you see... It's a little thick, and when you mash it, it's going to get thicker. Now, what I do now is I taste it. Oh my gosh. So good. The butter, to me, just makes the whole thing. So now you see, I just mash it up like this. So now, also, this is also up to you. Like I said, I like it kind of like a semi-mash. But some people like it thicker, some people like 
it just like this so that they could taste the whole grain, the whole bean itself. I like it a little more mashed. So now it's starting to resemble kind of like um, a refried bean. And also, so you know as it cools, it gets a little thicker. Mmm, so good. I shut it off and that's done. Those are my delicious beans. I'm going to let them cool and I'm going to eat them up. <laughs> Hey guys and dolls, I just wanted to show you, here's the final product, my delicious beans, thick, the way I like them, some delicious rice, I have a tutorial on how to make the perfect wear rice, some fried chicken, now this is just my own way and the way my mom used to serve it up, um, she always put some raw my onions on My mother would serve us a meal, and I don't know if like all Ecuadorians do this, but this is what my mom did, I would throw some raw onions on top of my bean. And believe it or not, this little bit of raw onion, it just makes everything come together and taste so yummy. But, oh, I have somebody here. Did you love your rice and beans? Yeah, she's eating some rice and beans. She just started eating table food like a month ago. She still eats her homemade baby food. But she loves rice and beans, right? Yummy rice and beans. So that was it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial. And just know I'm coming back and um, I'm about to enjoy my delicious menestra de habichuela. Delicious. Red beans, equa style. Thanks, guys. Keep coming back for more.